Today I'm meeting with consultant neurologist Dr. Ruth Dobson who launched the Pregnancy Register. We're going to talk about how the Pregnancy Register can be useful for you and also about other support groups that might be available for us parents to be. But first, make sure you're subscribed to Live to Health so you don't miss out on any of our content. So Ruth launched the MS Pregnancy Register in 2021. Can you please tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, so it came about really because there was a need to get more information for people with MS who are thinking about pregnancy. We know, we know more and more about what happens with the different disease modifiers therapies but actually we know very little about what the experience of people living with MS yeah. is around pregnancy, around supplements, around how people decide what to do about their disease modifying therapies. Mm. So it really started in order to meet this need. So what we do is we collect information from people with MS who sign up, we collect it twice during pregnancy just after each of your scans, so after your 12 week scan, after your 20 week scan and then also at a couple of time points after you've given birth, so at three months and 12 months. And we're using this information really to paint a picture of what's happening across the UK for people with MS who are pregnant. At the moment, we've got over 130 people signed up, which is brilliant. We've got loads of information from these people. And we're seeing the kind of discussions that people have about disease-modifying therapy when they have these discussions, what supplements people are taking during pregnancy, and also how they're feeling after birth and how they're making decisions around breastfeeding and stuff. Great, so it just gives you that kind of patient-led experience and that then helps you to tailor treatment and advice. Yeah, so we ask in the first instance that all the information comes from people with MS. So it's actually about what's happening to you. It's not about doctors. Many pregnancy registers take information directly from doctors or from nurses yeah. and never ask the patients how their experience is. So the idea is really to focus in on that. Mm. And how do you sign up to the pregnancy register? So signing up is really easy. Um, if you just Google UKMS pregnancy register, it's the first hit that comes up on Google. And then it's got all the information there about what taking part involves and also how we use your information. Great. Have any of you guys come across the pregnancy register already? Please do let us know your thoughts below if you're already signed up. And if you're not, then go and check it out. Do you know of any support groups as well where women who are pregnant can get extra support? So I know there's a Facebook group, Mums with MS, that a lot of people seem to find support from. It doesn't suit everyone. Yeah. You know, um, Facebook isn't for everyone. And actually peer support isn't for everyone as well. Mm. Um, I'm sure there's other groups out there that I don't know about as a clinician. I'm actually part of one called MS Together, which is Facebook and Instagram. And I think they actually have a separate Mums WhatsApp group as well. So that's also a really great one that I know about if you're on social media. If we've missed any questions that you'd like answered, don't forget to leave them in the comments below.